Checked all my options, worked off my dues Played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose Don't want tomorrow to be like today That's why I'm breaking away I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide What can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today Bird thought we were going to get an early start. Thought that was the general idea. Ah, uh, it was last night, wasn't it, when the bevy were being sucked. In the cold light of day, however, never. It's a different matter, isn't it? Well, you don't think they're going to go off the idea, do you? I'm just saying it'll be midday, won't it, before they sleep off last night's binge? Oh, it'd be typical of that, like, to change their minds. Typical. I'm still going. Late tonight, like. You know, I've... I promised to meet an old mate of mine in the Allstadt. Yeah, he's coming over from Crayfield. Well, I'm definitely going. Yeah. Give the bike a run. Take it out in the country, like, you know. We were supposed to pick up the car first thing. Nev, um, got to use your razor, cos uh, I need a new blade and I can't, you know. All right, where you go? Oh, great. It's all. Yeah, I hate shaving more than anything else. Yeah, I bet. Well, grow up yet? Think I'd suit one? Why not? Well, yeah, I never thought I had the right shaved face, really. <laughs> I had uh, I had a moustache one, though. Yeah, it was like a big, big droopy one, you know, like one of Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, like. Yeah. But uh, the girl I was with at the time made me shave it off. So it looked like a pillock. <laughs> Elaine Surtees. Huh? What's her name, Elaine Surtees? She worked for a seed merchant just outside Droitwich. <laughs> Funny how things come back to you, innit? Die Tür wurde offensichtlich aufgebrochen. All week, everybody's been so keen. Yeah, let's get away for the weekend. Let's get out to Dusseldorf. Get some fresh air. Let's do something different. Let's go fishing. 
Ah, oh, mate of Norn. A oh, mate of Norn. I'll leave it out, Ned. They ain't cried off, they're just asleep, aren't they? Ah, oh, nah, then. Typical. Fetch us some milk, will you? It's not worth getting in such a state about, mate. Well, not to you, it isn't. You didn't want to go in the first place. Well, I don't like the country, do I? And I know naff all about fishing, so why should I go naffing fishing in a naffing country, eh? You could. No, it wouldn't. I'll tell you what would do me good, though. It's getting my evil way with that little Erica what works the post office. That'd do me the power of good, that will. Oh, this milk's sour. Who forgot to get fresh milk? Each time I go down there, always joins the queue for her window. Even if it's the longest, you know. She knows. She don't mind either, eh? Tell you another thing, Nev. My infatuation for this little frau line ain't half increased my letter writing. See, cos posting them's the only excuse I've got to see her, innit? My old mum can't believe her luck. I've even started writing to my sister, mate. I can't stand her. If you're going down there this afternoon, can you post one for me? I sure can, sir. And while you're sitting by some river with a fishing rod in your hand, you can think of me and that young morsel doing unspeakable things together, son. Oh, that's if we ever get you. That's your tea. It's not sugar. Bloody row! It's Saturday, Bomber. Eh? And I want my kip, don't I? We were supposed to be going away, remember? Hey, hey, it's only ten past eight, mate. Early start, it was all agreed. That's it, is it? Oh, somebody forgot to get fresh milk. Well, that surprise me. Nobody sticks to the manifest of who's to do what and when. Oh, someone turn him off, eh? Your, uh, your razor's on your bed, Niff. Didn't use it. Gonna give it a go? What? I'm going to be it. What's so funny, why? Did I laugh? Yes, you did. I don't see why my growing a beard should occasion a ladder tag. Who's you making all the racket? What time is it? Oh, we're going, Dennis, are we? Fetch us a cup of tea, son, and we? No milk! No coffee, anything. Right. Oh, what did we drink last night? It was the quantity, son, not the quality. Can't believe me, Ed. We're supposed to be going away, remember? To the country. Oh, aye, aye, right, right. I right. mean, it's just we said we'd pick up the car early. Right, right, okay. That's if we're still going, hey, like no, right, Dennis, right, you know. Just, just, just a minute, will you? Oh, there you go, Dennis. Oh, jeez, buddy. I'm going to beard. Aye, oh, very good, buddy. I'll inform the press. <laughs> Only me and you and Stuart to drive this, right? So no matter how legless we get, nobody lets us get behind the wheel. Right. Look, I'm not going, and that's fatal. Well, you were full of it last night. Oh, well, that was last night. I'm not well, man. Typical. Well, it makes no difference. Be good for the rest of us. What was that like? What do you mean? What I mean is, us, we all deserve a break from you. Think about that, lads, eh? Two us free nights. We're from the smell of his feet. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go with you lot anyway. You're always getting me. A break from you, that's what I need. It'll do me a world of good. Well, everybody's happy then, aren't they? Yeah, Barry's following us later on his bike, so you better show him on the map then. Right. Healthy sign, sweaty feet anyway. Means you're healthy. Yeah, like a dog's wet nose. You know, when a dog's nose is wet, means it's in good neck. Oh, well, you must be fighting fit, mate. Your nose has been running ever since you got here. 
Right, you uh, you take this main autobahn to Cologne, right? Right. And you bypass Cologne and follow the signs over off Veal, OK? Then right. you hit this road here, right? You can only go left or right, you go left, right? The right. Sagan, OK? Straight down there, and then you hit that road there. You go straight on Eldenbrook, right? Right, that all seems quite straightforward. Uh, how will I know? How will I know when to find you, though, when I get there? Well, it's just a village, man. Just uh, go to the bar that's got the most noise coming from it. I thought you said I wasn't going. <laughs> I heard there were thieves here last night. Broken the storage out. What on earth is that a pinch here, eh? Probably vandals. They may strike again. Ours? Sure you'll be safe. <laughs> I don't let them beat the names of German football teams all over the hut. Right. Don't let them spoil our lovely home. Do not try anything when I'm here, man. Hey, I tell you what it is, we'll sleep safe now and you're in charge. Hey. <laughs> and sounder without his feet. <laughs> you sure you don't want to come on? I'll manage, man. Don't you worry. Squeeze. Ah, oh, it's not much traffic on the slipper road, man. Oh, yeah, let's give him a ride, eh? Hi, eh? Why have we stopped? Good some Martins, aren't we? Eh? Uh, Hitchhiker. Well, hey, it's a bloke. There's no room for a bloke. Swedish girl, maybe. We can fit her in, but... But not a bloke. Thank you. Uh, Peter? Where you go? You, you go east? English? Yeah, you! Yeah! Oh, hop in, funny lad! Cheers! Right. You, uh, you on holiday, are you? Yeah. Took you a while to get a lift, did it? Yeah. Where are you headed? This way. <laughs> it's a bit of a back road, this, isn't it, if you're, if you're hitching? Well, you, you can't hitch like on the autobahns, can you? No, 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 no. I suppose not. Well, hey, we're just headed to the back end of nowhere here, mate. Anywhere's fine by me. You've no place in mind there. No, I was, I was heading south. Uh, I don't just go in Munich. It's not the way to Munich, this. Well, I'm in no hurry. Um, I thought I'd see a bit of the countryside first. Right. I'm a student. I'm uh, just seeing a bit of the countryside. Travel's an education in itself, isn't it? Oh, so they say, yes, so they say. I'm Bobber, this is Mark C, this is Dennis and Neville. I'm Neville, he's Dennis. I'm Colin. Listen, what are you lads doing? Best not to ask. Wanted by Interpol in eight countries we are.
Right. Just force me to go, son. Do you want to come in for something to eat? Want no, a drink? No, no Bill. Thanks. Yeah? Looks like you could do it a bite. No, I'll, I'll be all right. Thanks a lot. Suit yourself. Well, good luck, son. Ta -da, Take care, Colin. Have a nice trip, eh? See ya. Yeah, right, who's round with it? Moxie's. Moxie's. No, it's not. Yes, yes, it, it is. Oh, it is. I got the beers all off. Well, I got them. You off then? Oh. Hey, there's uh, still room for one on the back, you know. I've told you don't want to go. All right. Looks like rain anyway. Do you reckon? Definite. Well, I'd put the mockers on this weekend, wouldn't it? Posting? Any what? Letters. I'm off to the post office, am I? No, no. I sent some money home two weeks ago. Oh. Hey, you fancy a swift half later? Well, depends what happens down the post office, doesn't it, son? Uh, yeah. I hope you're not just gonna sit there and last over that all day. I've got plenty of things to do. Yeah, like what? Never mind. Call it a vandal, son, eh? Might be a reward. Look, I'll manage London, thank you very much, all right? It suits me fine, everybody gone. OK, well, so long as you're all right, mate. I'll see you later. Shut up. Suits me fine, everybody gone. Make me sell a nice cup of tea. That's how you do it. It's that simple. Have a go yourself. Here, take the right hand, right? Right. right. Now, with the fly rod, you can only reel in, you can't reel out. Because with fly fishing, the line don't sink, it has to float on the surface. Pull the line out with the left hand, go on, pull out an arm's length, as far as you can. Right. Now, whip the rod back over the shoulder. Go on, whip it back, keeps the line taut. Like that? Right. Now, bring it back, pull out another arm's length. Pull some more out. Pull. Snap, pull, snap. How do you know this place then, Ben? Well, last time I was working in Germany, I was uh, in Koblenz. And these Eric's brought me out here to this wedding. It made me feel so welcome, you know. It was, I think it was the nicest time I ever had here. Just like being at home, you know. Fish a lot back home, do you? Yeah, yeah. I've got a mate lives in uh, Hexham. That's in Northumberland, like, you know. I go up there on weekends to the Tyne Valley. Ah, it's great up there, man. It's so quiet and peaceful. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, Moxie. It's magic, man. Pull. Snap. Pull. Snap. Right. You've enough slack out. Now hit your mark. Yeah! <laughs> 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 There's a river near where I live that has to be as good a stretch of sand for fishing as any. Not that I'm allowed to fish it. Tufts put all the rights. That doesn't stop all more. I'm glad we're keen on you. You're a bird of good here, man. Only they took a wrong round, so I can. It's just so, I don't know, different. It's like I'm, I'm seeing the real Germany. Right, well, you know, if we're going to broaden our horizons and if we've got to escape from the confines of our professional situation. Oh, right, that's what I'm always saying. Well, words to that effect. Right. I saw his problem, you see, now. He's you know, good enough desire yeah. to educate himself, isn't he? Or acquire a knowledge of the outside world. All right. The line certes was just a sign. Who? Oh. But, uh, the girl I was telling you about, you know. The... Oh, I, uh, Droitwich, right. with a moustache. Right, 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 right,
Do you know, out of her ambition level was a semi in Cods, all right. And two weeks in the year in Magaluf. Ah, she, she would have stifled me, Neville. Aye, yeah, I'll bet. It's this old sub of fishing where I come from, you know. I fished the canal once, though. I caught a plimsoll and a couple of contraceptives. I don't think I was talking about it. This old does. Come on, that's not a motorrad. Come on, here. Oh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, I think someone tried to steal the oh, motorbike. Huh? Oh, what? No. It what? Is, uh, so you see who was? No, he is. Uh, Hush. He, he disappeared. Oh. Oh, you never left the key in it, did you, Barry? Yeah. Oh, well, look, uh, I, I didn't think there'd be any trouble like that around here, did I? Okay. Niemand da, young fit on. Oh my, I'm going. Where are your friends? Friends? <laughs> I've got no friends. Me, man. You are very uh, tonight. Oh, yeah, I this. He best suit. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go, eh? Well, that's it. I'll see you. Too. Good night. Uh, don't be shy. What is this? Does it have the castle on? <laughs> Hey, what do you think you're doing? No, speak! Knock your bloody head off! Come here! Expenses to me. Even Stevens, like hotel bills, hire of the rods, grub, you know. Stuff like that. Barry, do you ever leave off, eh? Look, Denny, somebody's got to think of these things in the absence of an elected leader, you know, have they? Uh, cool. Then.
Morning. Morning. You still here, lad? I, I couldn't get a lift, so I kept down. But why didn't you steer with us? You could have steered in the village. Now, well, I've been camping, you see. An old bedroll don't take up much room, do it? You've been sleeping rough, haven't you? Just last night, that's all. Where did you last eat? I'll be OK, honest, I'm all right. He's freezing, Dad. Listen. Cold. We're staying in a place in the village. Yeah, I know where. Right, look, there's my room key, right? Get yourself back there, have a hot bath, get yourself something to eat, then have a good kip. Are you sure? Go on, before you catch pneumonia. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks very much. Come on, lads, we've got some fishing to do. Calm down, will you? Start a very great white. Well, what do I do? Reel it in, you pranus. Oh, Come on, that's it. Hey, look at that! Well done, mate. They know one thing. That Colin's no stooped. You don't know where he's going. And he ain't camping because he got no gear. That's three things. I'm scared stiff, if you ask me. Oh, he did, didn't he? Ah, <sighs> uh, that despite your cynical exterior, Dennis. You, you give your fellow man the benefit of the doubt, don't you? Come again, buddy. Hey, you trust people, you do. Well, you've got to, haven't you? Why shouldn't I? No, 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 I'm not disputing it's an admirable attitude. No, no, no. I was just, I was just thinking, you know. Thinking what? I was thinking that maybe it was uh, misplaced. You know, your, your trust, Lord. Why? Well, consider that Colin, right? Now, you must admit, he does look a bit desperate. I mean, he ain't safe for a few days, is he? Well, nor have you. It's because I'm growing a beard. Maybe he is. Well, he's not a student, right? This bomber so rightly surmises. Nothing else, buddy, man. No, hear him out. Let him make his point. Well, there's a point to all yeah, this. Yeah, my point there. is this. If he's not a student, right, and he was hanging around last night, maybe it's him would try to steal me bike. Maybe at this very minute, just maybe, He's going through all our things, right, prior to pissing off the destinations or no. Of course, this is a hypothetical speculation, not taking into account trust, which, uh, which Dennis put so much store in. Come on. What's the word, then? Bloody long queue at the post office, was I? Ah, short one, son. Short but sweet. Yeah. I'll get up there to her window, right? Buys me two air now, I'm a registered letter, and then I lays it on her. In English, you know, because she speaks a fair bit. Well, she's got to, ain't she, work in the post office? Did you bring the English papers? <coughs> yeah, yesterday. Well, no football results. But leave it out, I'm trying to tell you a tale, ain't I? Well, man, to waste a team bringing sad this papers, man. I suppose you finished at one, I says. 
Free for the weekend, I imagine. Yes, she says, with a delectable hint of a German accent. Well, I steamed in, didn't I? Despite the protest of some old rat bag in the queue behind me with an air freight to Canada. Anyway, cut a long story short. Which I wish you would. Now, listen, listen, I made arrangements for a rendezvous, didn't I? Yeah, movie, drink, etc., etc. Back to her place. She's only got her own flat, ain't she? Eh? <laughs> well, it's feet under the table by six, by ten o'clock. Well, look, the rest is history, son. You didn't think they'd bring any milk in, were you, did you? You ain't listened to a word I've said, have you? No, not really. Hey, it's vandals again last night, eh? I saw the paint job. Yeah, I nearly got them. Yeah? Yeah, instead all I got was red paint all over me blue suit. It's ruined. Yeah, well, what paint ain't on your suit, mate? It's on one of the walls. Slogans, like. Something about the British Army getting out of Germany. Yeah, well, thinking about getting old myself. What you on about? Well, sick of it here. Nothing to do. Me mates doing Lagos. You are? Well, they're all away, aren't they? Yeah, but you were asked. You didn't want to go, did you? Well, what do I want to go fishing for? OK, but you were asked, weren't you? Look, it's the way that they ask that counts. What are you on about, Oz? Eh? What are you talking about, son? Look, the fact that I was asked to go is not the point, is it? Isn't it? No, it's not the point at all. All right, then what is? What is, what is the point is that they were none too keen on me going with them in the first place, were they? No, I made remarks about getting away from me and me feet. They didn't go away just to get away from your feet. <laughs> yeah, well, you stopped out all night, didn't you? Yeah, but I told you why, didn't I? If you'd listened. Yeah, well, I don't like it here. I don't like the Germans, and they don't like me. And neither do the lads. Oh, son. No, oh, look, listen. man, I can tell, man, I can tell. I was getting at me. I was taking a piss. I mean, I thought I'd have a good laugh when we first came here. I thought that was the whole point. You know, have a few bevies, a bit crack, a bit laugh. I mean, without that, what's the point in being here? Now, now, they want to go out on trips and meet Germans and go to museums and... I mean, where's the fun in that, eh? Look, you have to stay us. I mean, you need the dough. Besides which, the lads won't let you go. Hey, hey, because... don't, hey, listen, don't you say anything to the lads, right? I'll just slip away. Nobody will know that I'm gone. Oh, you got to stay, son. I mean, there's reasons what brought you here. More to do with finance and fun. You can't just desert, man. You've got to go the distance. I'll manage. I always have. Well, ain't much of a story as it happens. There was this German girl. She lives in Einsberg. It's near Munich. Oh, we got engaged at Christmas. I was going to stay in Germany. If I couldn't get a job, go back to the UK. Then last week, she breaks it off just like that. That's tough. It happens, though, doesn't it? And there's, um, like, no possibility of a reconciliation, I suppose. It's finished. You should have told us this yesterday, and then he wouldn't have had to keep in the field. Yeah. Look, thanks for the meal and everything. Much obliged. Yeah. Where are you headed, then? South. I'm going south. Um, Geneva. I thought I might get a job there as a waiter or something like that. Hey, you could come back with us. Oh, yeah, why not? Right. No, you'd have to shovel. No. No, I, I, I couldn't do your bloke sort well, of Ah, yeah, you could yeah. shovel for your labourer. Can I? Yeah, of course yeah. you could. Couldn't he, Dan? Look, don't ask me. It's up to the lad. And his sidekick will rip. Well, the only two you better watch out for, right? How'd you get on with the Germans? Oh, yeah. 
just canny lads, mostly like the rest of us. Only smarter. Where do you mean smart? Well, you know, I've better turn out. See, the Brits are really scruffy, they wear jeans and sneakers, that kind of thing. Oh, and they never wear the hard hats. The, the Eric's, they're, uh, they're more military. Yeah, come on, hold of them, will you? Hey, Ned, what do you call the Germans Eric's for? Eh? Well, we want to talk about one of them in front of them, like. We call them Eric, and that way the Germans think we're talking about some bloke, well, Eric. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and then there's, uh, there's a lot of Turks over here and all. A couple of Dutch. Turks mainly live in the hut next to ours. Some Greeks, but not many of them, like. Somali? Somali? Colin? What do you think? Hey. The beard? Oh, yeah. Very fetching, Squire. <laughs> Don't know if each. Yeah, it'd be worth it. You reckon? Yeah. Give your boat race some definition, wouldn't it? Eh? Compensate for your lack of bone structure. Create the impression of an enigmatic persona. Enigmatic? That also covers up your acne. Well, you do have spots, oh. don't you, you know? I mean, the complexion ain't exactly your best feature, These, these spots are just temporary, though. You know, it's the change in water that's doing it. Shaving in different water, like. Uh, well, look, now you ain't shaving, right, they'll disappear, won't they? Oh. Only no one will notice, cos you ain't shaving. Pity. Is a bottle. No. You all right, Oz? What do you mean? Nothing. Just asking if you're all right. You haven't uh, said anything, have you? Of course not. I was just asking, wasn't I? No. What's up with him? Nothing. He's a bit uptight, isn't he? Just forget it, right? All right. Don't skin off my nose. Yeah. Missed you at the weekend, Oz. Ah, uh, I'll bet. Well, seriously, a good laugh, you are, mate. No, oh, well, that's not what everybody thinks, is it? Hey, Dad. Ah, uh -huh. it's really strange thing just happened. What Oz has shook hands with a German. No, man, seriously. Well, you know I've been working with that Colin lad. Yeah. Well, these two policemen just turned up with Ulrich. I don't know, probably about the vandalism. Anyway, when Colin seen them, he turned white as a sheet, did a runner. What? Hi, he's gone, Psst, vanished. I've searched the whole site. There's no sign of him. But have the police gone after him? No, man. Look, see, the coppers were here about the break-ins, yeah. right? Yeah. But the point is, he obviously thought they were after him. Colin did. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, he didn't seem too sure of his story, did he? From right. Hi. Mm. Oh, I don't know. He seems such a cunny lad, but I can't imagine him in trouble with the law. Yeah. You can't tell these days, man. No, I'll tell you what, we'll just get back to work, right? If he shows up, we'll have it out with him, right? I hope you've worked things out, Oz. No, I'm your mains made up with him. Look, in a situation like ours, everyone living on top of each other, it's bound to be problems. People fall out, friendships change, get on each other's tits. It's like being in the army, living in that hut, you know. But all things considered, we're not doing too bad, are we? No, well, I came all here with Dennis and Neville. But I just don't think I'm in hurt anymore. Ah, oh, come on, man. They missed you at the weekend. Oh, was Barry... No, was this all a bloke? Colin, there's no problem. I mean, we hardly know him anyway. No, but nevertheless. Nevertheless what? You're an exasperating geezer, you are, Oz. I mean, I can't work you out. I really can't work you out. Well, nobody's asking you to try. Hey, Nev. Any sign of Colin? Hey, he's not running from the law. 
Well, shut your phone. He's in the army. Look, Latham Collin, Lance Corporal, right? Born June the 14th, 1960. Height five foot eight, eyes brown. Other distinguishing marks, scar on left shoulder. It's a friggin' deserter, isn't he? She was lovely. I mean, she seemed quite... She was great. Yeah, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. That's a trouble, isn't it? Well, there you go. Oh. Hang on a minute. Just going for a leak. Oh, all right. Moxie, Moxie. What is it? Oh, sorry. Somebody went into those storage huts over there. So what? No, it could have been those kids or somebody's you know, been messing around, couldn't it? You sure? I'm positive somebody went into one of those bloody cabins. Okay. Let's get them. Well, I'll, I'll get the lads first, eh? Right. Oh, I hate Mondays. No money. All week ahead of us. Where'd you get them? Brenda made them for us. Oh. <laughs> quick, quick, everybody. Get the bloody vinyls are back. What? Hey? Get the vinyls out there back. Where? I don't want the bloody cabin. Where are you going now? I can't show them. I'll leave them. Leave them. What can they need? The bloody bag of cement. That's not a plane, is it? Only you're going to score the second. Oh, come on. I don't believe it. Come on, let's get in. Look at him. Come on, then. Oh, you're here. We're going to be just one. Oh, we're here. We're going to be quiet. Oh, we're here. Keep your voice, you don't. Where? What's happening? Any sort of anything. There's definitely somebody over there. You're right. Oh, now, just wait, mate. Uh, listen, just keep your voice, you don't look here. Right, buddy, Moxie, you go left. Left. Yeah. Right. Come on, never go around this side, along the drainage channel, OK? What about us? Just go straight on, never. Oh, it feels like a commando, don't you? Not really. I've still got me slippers on. <coughs> Why don't you just bang a snare drum, eh? Bloody hell, there's nine a fuss of water in here. We had a run for it. What's your cabin? This one? This one. You sure? Positive. All right, we know you're in there, so come on, let's have you. Look, there's more of us than you. So we'll just come out now and nobody will get hurt, right? Might help if you say it's in German, Dennis. Come on, man, let's just get in there, man. Get stuck in it. Hey, 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 Around it. You'll keep it tight. See? Yeah. Does it hurt? Mine hurts like hell, but nobody gives a toss about me. You've got yourself in the right mess, haven't you? Yeah. I don't mean your clothes. Look, man, you, you should have told us the truth, you know, and then we might have been able to help you out. How long you been in the army then, eh? How do you know that? Found his ID, whatever they call it. So you're on the lamb from the army. Is it that bad? Since I've been in Germany, it is, yeah. See, other lads in my billet. We don't get on. Well, they don't get on with me. Always getting at me, taking a mick. I couldn't take no more. I got a bit choked. I had to get away. Well, doesn't seem a very good reason for deserting. You've got to learn to get on with people, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. 
I mean, look at us lot in here. We're, we're just like the army, aren't we? All yeah, yeah. crammed into this yeah. little hut. Yeah, we drive each other loony, mate. Yeah, but at least we all stick together, don't we, eh? It's not just that. Yeah. Yeah. Get it off your chest, mate. I was in Ireland for a time. Londonderry. Then Belfast. Can't have been no picnic, that. I was scared witless. Oh, so would I have been. Well, anyone. Anyone wouldn't have cracked up, though, would they? I did. How many of those bastards have seen their two best friends blown in half, eh? None. Not one of them. Well, I did. And I just want to forget about it. And they put me in hospital for a time. The army were very good about that. Then they posted me out here. The other lads found out. I just want to forget about it. They won't let me forget about it. Yeah, see, but if you keep running away like that, you're just running away from yourself, you know? And if you bottle it out and stick in, I mean, those lads will end up respecting you for it in the end. Ah, he's well up there if you ask me. He's done his bit, hasn't he? You as him, no. So what's he supposed to do? Eh? Spend the rest of his life on the run? Well, that's the way he spends his life, isn't it? I mean, he don't know no different. I think he's got to go back. That was no question about it. Definitely. When did you leave? Thursday night. I had a 72-hour leave pass. Well, you're, you're only a day late, aren't you? Yeah, you're not a deserter, are you? Yeah. You're a, you know, what yeah, you call it? Without leave. That's yeah. right. I mean, it's not going to be the firing squad, is it? Just a couple of weeks, you know, cleaning out the shit houses. Well, can I be back there by tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, could you? Yeah. So you're calling, eh? Great. Hey, listen, yeah. Barry can give you a lift on his bike, can't you, Barry? Hey, where is Barry? I mean, for better or worse, you've got to get on with your mates, haven't you? Hey, I'm bleeding to death here. Nobody gives a toss. Oh, oh shut up, boys, man. Where well, was? Still set on leaving then, eh? Hey? No, no, I'm not good. Oh yeah, what's changed your mind then? Well, I suppose it was that crap with Colin last night, you know. I mean, by an ironic coincidence, I realise me and him's both got a lot in common. You know, the blokes we live with don't want we're there. Oh. So, you can hang around and earn your respect to the lads, eh? I admire that, mate. I really do. Hang around, bollocks. If you think I'm shipping out to please them, you can think again, mate. I'm stopping. I'm here for good. Always well, said your heart was in the right place, us. Right, graft. <laughs> well, see you around then. Yeah, okay. Try and get over one night, eh? Aye. Right. It'd be nice to see you. Remember what I said to you? What is it? Give and drop your dottle on the proggy man. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry too much, you know. It's only the army. Right, well, okay, sir. So, Hello, mate. Oh, look! look. <laughs> There's a bearded lady. Where the hell you been? Bloody police station all night, have not You what? <laughs> oh, it's an old come and very far, mate. Bloody terrified I was. No one could speak English. Well, how come you ended up down there? Good. They nabbed me last night, thought I was breaking in, didn't I? Said, um, sort of looked like a derelict because I was either shy for three days. <laughs> <laughs>